from Pasadena in sunny California, the annual Rose Bowl game, daddy of them all. Happy New Year, everybody everywhere. This is Mel Allen with John Harrington, greeting you as the Wildcats from Northwestern prepare to tangle with the Golden Bears of California in a gridiron battle that promises excitement galore. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a tremendous thrill to be here at the Rose Bowl. And right now, to paint the picture of this magnificent spectacle, is my colleague on this broadcast today, CBSA sports broadcaster, John Harrington. Johnny, come on in. The microphone is yours. Thank you, Mel. 93,000 people jam-packed into Pasadena's Rose Bowl today, all standing on their feet, our national anthem played by the California band. A great many of them in that cheering section in the card section across the way, which is put up there by California, which will tell you more about at halftime, singing along with the band, our national anthem. So now, boys, we'll have the toss. Captain Alex Sarkeesian of Northwestern, you're the guest. We will let you call it in the air. Heads. It comes up tails. Captain Gene Frasetto of California, you win the toss. Uh, we will receive. You have just heard the toss of the coin, ladies and gentlemen, from the field out there with Jimmy Can, the referee, and the two captains. You heard Gene Fonsetto, the captain for California, win and chose to receive. George Maddock awaits the whistle. He runs forward. Here's the boot. The Rose Bowl game is underway. The ball going down to the goal line. Jackie Swanner takes it in the end zone. He's coming out to the 5. He's cutting up to the 10, to the 15. Gets a block. He's up to the 20. He's hit and dropped to about the 21-yard line. And we're underway in Pasadena. He was hit and dropped by Chuck Hagman. And George Maddock, the boy who did the kicking off, and so it's California's ball. First and ten, he has the ball, and he hands it off in there to Jackie Jensen, who goes through right tackle and moves up to the 25, and he's dropped by George Sunheim. A 6-3-2 defense they have now. And here is the ball being pitched out to the right halfback Swanner, going wide to Seth, cutting back, but he's dropped at about the line of scrimmage. And now Northwestern is using almost an eight-man line in there as California with the right end split out three or four yards finds that ball being handed off in there to Jackie Jensen or rather it was Jackie Swanner cracking in trying to go for that first down he's up to the 30 we're waiting the snap from center there it is Jensen kicking and he gets off a wobbly boot down the near sideline angling it for the out-of-bounds point and it goes out of bounds on the Northwestern 45-yard line you've got Don Burson in there at quarterback Frank Ashen, Brunner at left half, Murakowski at full, Tony Clip at right half, and the ball is kept by Burston. Fates for a pass, he throws, and it's incomplete on the 30-yard line of California. The pass intended for Chuck Hagman, and as they're ready to move, and they've got a 5-3-2-1 defense against them. The ball is handed off to Murakowski, cracking over the left side of his line. He moves past the line of scrimmage down to the 43. And now on a quick T formation play, the ball's getting off to Ashen, Brunner on a wide right end, sweep is going right over, he does low cars, he's hit, and dropped on the far side of the field. Five. California and now we'll watch California or rather uh, Northwestern as they go into punt formation Ashen Brenner back gets off a boot going deep down to the California five taken in there by Keckley he's coming up to the 10 running over to the near side of the field to the 15 he gets a block he's up to the 20 he's hit and dropped on the 21 yard line They've got their offensive unit in there with Billy, uh, Dick Erickson at the quarterback spot. Billy Maine, Jack Jensen, and Jack Swanner. And the left halfback, Maine, is lined up wide to the left. The ball is carried by Jack Swanner. Thrust through the middle. He doesn't go far as that rugged northwestern line piles him up for the Golden Bears. T formation. Dick Erickson up underneath the center. With the left halfback, Billy Maine, right in behind him. The other two backs off to the right. The right halfback, Swanner, goes in motion off to the left. Lines up as a flanker. The ball comes back. And it is handed off to Jensen. He's going wide to his left touchback, and he's dumped on the 25-yard line. He can't get past that northwestern line with Hart Murakowski coming up from the secondary to dump him hard. Now you've got the right halfback, the left halfback, Billy Maine, lining up as a flanker out wide to the right. The ball is pitched out to Jensen. He's fading for a pass. He throws a long one downfield, and he remains intercepted on the 25, and he can't meet me, and dropped. And Northwestern, Northwestern's ball, first and 10, their own 25. And the ball is fumbled as it was carried by Ashen Brenner down to the 40, and California recovers. They've got Jack Swan with the right halfback lined up as a flanker to the left. Underneath the center is Dick Erickson with the ball. He's fakes the pass, gives it off to Jensen, and he's hit behind the line of scrimmage by Fats O'Day, that right guard. Who... And now they've got Swanner again lined up as a flanker wide to the left. 
And the ball is kept by Erickson. Page for pass first. Completes it. No, incomplete. He handed Johnny Cunningham in his hands on the Northwestern 30. All alone down the near sideline. This time the ball is kept by Erickson as he fakes to a back. And he's hit immediately as a fumble in the backfield. And now you've got Frank Ashenbrenner in safety for Northwestern with Jack Jensen in punt formation for California standing on his own 42, the snap from center. He kicks, angling for the sidelines. And there's the ball going out of bounds on the Northwestern 27-yard line approximately. They're lining it up. They're afraid of this Northwestern ability to return punts. The ball is handed off by Bersender Ashenbrenner on a quick slanting play off right tackle. He takes another clear. He's at midfield. He's down to the California 40, to the 30, to the 20. Beautiful blocking. He's going all the way to the TD. A 73-yard run by Frank Ashenbrenner. He took a handoff from Don Burson, lining up at left halfback in T formation. He slanted to his right, cut off his own right tackle. Got a good block in there by right halfback Ed Tunnicliffe, and then reversed his field, popped out into the clear. Art Murakowski threw another key block, and he was off to the races. And Ashenbrenner ran 73 yards for the touchdown. Going all the way down to the goal line with Jack Swanner taking that ball. He fumbles momentarily, comes up to the 5, to the 10, slips. Up to the 15, got the block, he's to the 20, the 25, the 30, and he's hit and dropped on the 33-yard line by Alex Sarkeesian. With Northwestern's defensive unit in there now, Sunheim backing up the left side of the line. The ball is handed to Jack Swanner. He's running wide, he's up, cuts off left tackle, and Jensen, and he's into the clear. He's down to the 40, he's down to the 30, the 10, and he's over for the touchdown. Seven to six in favor of Northwestern, attempting the extra point for California would be Jim Cullum. The snap, the kick, and it is a high ball game. He runs forward. Here is his boot. It's a low end over end kick going down to the 15 yard line, taken in there by Frank Ashenbrenner. He's hit on the 22. Billy Montagna raced in there and hit him hard and dropped him. The ball is handed off by Burson to Ed Tunnicliffe. He tries to come over the left side of his line, is hit as he moves in between the left end and the left tackle of Northwestern, gets past the 20, down to about the 22. Don Burson underneath the center. And he with the ball, hands it off now to Murakowski, breaking through the middle into the secondary, and he's hit as he crosses the 25. As we watch Jimmy Kane, he's going to step off a penalty against Northwestern. Backfield illegally in motion. They've got the right half back out wide to the right. The ball is handed off as a horn on the plate of Murakowski in the same way. Pops into the clears, down to the 30, down to the 40. He's at midfield and knocked out of bounds on the California 49-yard line. The penalty against Northwestern of five yards. They were offside. California, of course, takes that uh, penalty, five-yard uh, penalty against Northwestern for being offside. Fakes to his right, hands it off to Ed Tunnicliffe, who knifes through the middle, doesn't get very far, up to about the 15-yard line with John Baker. And now the ball is handed off, this time to Frank Ashenbrenner, running wide to his right, cuts back over his own right tackle, and is stopped pole as he tries to go for yardage as he moves across the line of scrimmage, past the 15 to about the 16. With Northwestern shifts into a punt formation with Frank Ashenbrenner kicking from about his own eight or nine yard line. He gets his kick away nicely and waiting for it is Paul Keckley on the California 40 up to the 45 to midfield to Northwestern 45 to the 40. He's hit and dropped and falls forward to about the Northwestern 38 yard line. Bob Solari's in there at quarterback now for California. He has that ball and he's hiding it behind his back face for a pass. Throws a long one intended for Swanner and it is intercepted on the 10 by Northwestern. Tom Worthington the defensive right halfback. As Don Burson awaits that ball, he has it. He hands it off in there to Ed Tunnicliffe, who comes off the left side of his own line up to about the line of scrimmage. And now we're watching, you've got Ed Tunnicliffe, the right halfback, and a flanker out wide to the left. It's Burson with the ball. He hands it off to Frank Ashenbrenner. No gain to amount to anything as he cracks into the middle of a rugged California forward wall. And Burson with the ball, fades for a pass, fakes it, gives it off to Murakowski, cracks through the middle, goes for yardage, up to the 25-yard line, where he's hit and brought down by Billy Montagna the right halfback for California, and it is a first down. Burson fakes off to one back, gives it off to Ashenbrenner, coming from his left halfback slot, cracks across the line of scrimmage, is hit almost immediately by Western's ball on their own 28. 
And here is Burson pitching out now to Ed, uh, rather to Frank Aschenbrenner, running wide to his right, cutting down the near sideline and moving beautifully down to the 40, to the 45. He's hit and moves all the way to midfield. With he got a diamond defense against them right now. Here's the ball handed off to Ed Tunnicliffe. He breaks through the middle, cutting over to the far side of the field of the 40, to the 35, to the 30. He's down to the 25, to the 20, and he's finally brought down on the 13-yard line of California. Tim Minahan finally caught him, and the crowd is standing as Don Burson underneath the center has that ball, gives it off to Murakowski, cracks over left tackle, he's hit as he gets up to about the line of scrimmage by Bob Hyleman in the center, backing up that line for California. And here is Burson hanging the ball off to the right, to Murakowski, cracking through the middle, gets up to about the 10. The score is 7-7 as we get ready for the second quarter. We're all set to go. We'll have scores of other games for you. Second down, seven to go for Northwestern. They're on the 10-yard line of California. And Burson pitches out to Ed Tunnicliffe, running wide to his left laterally. He's caught, and he can't get away and knocked out of bounds on the 15-yard line. As the secondary for California is in tight, there is a spread tee, and the ball is given off to Murakowski, cracking through the middle. He goes down to the 11, and no further. Art Murakowski cracking through the middle. And now we'll watch the Golden Bears with the score, seven and seven. And there may have been an offside on the play, possibly. California was offside on the play, and Northwestern refuses the penalty. Since there was no appreciable gain on the play, and thus California has the ball in their own 13-yard line. Pitches out now to Jackie Swatter, who running, runs wide to his left, tries to cut back. He moves up to about the 14-yard line. Bob Soleri waiting that ball. He has it, and he hands it off now to... Jackie Jensen running wide to his right, cuts off right tackle as he cuts back, moves across the 15. Double safety set up for Northwestern. The Johnny Miller and Tom Worthington back. The snap from center. Here's the kick. A nice high one going down to the Northwestern. 38-yard line taken by Johnny Miller. He works a crisscross with Worthington. And Worthington is running wide to his left. He's up to midfield to the 35 to the 40. He is driving. He's down to the 25 and almost down to the 20-yard line where Jackie Jensen made the tackle. So it is first and 10. For Northwestern on the Cal 22-yard line. Score tied 7-7. The ball is handed off now to uh, John Miller. And he spins and drives through the middle of that line down to the California 15. It is second and three for Northwestern. And here is Burson fading for a pass. He throws, and it is incomplete on the 10 and 10 for Johnny Miller. And here is Burson handing that ball off to Johnny Miller, running to his right, slanting off right tackle. He doesn't get anywhere, moves across the 15 to about the 14. We thought they might, but uh, since he does some kicking, but they're not. And we'll watch Northwestern try to go as Burson hands that ball off to Murakowski, spinning, driving past the 10 to the 5, and he's stopped on the 2-yard line. Murakowski driving hard and spinning, and he would not be down. And Burson hands the ball off to Murakowski, and he is... He fumbled, I believe, as he went across, but it is a touchdown for Northwestern. He had possession when he went over the goal line. Jim Farrar uses the tape. Here's his kick. No good, says Jim Kane. No good, and the score remains. Northwestern 13. California, seven. Here's the kick. It's a short one going down to about the 25. It is taken in there by Bob Soleri running wide to his right. He gets up to the 30. He's still driving hard. Moves up to the 35. There's a big pileup on the far side of the field. And Soleri hands that ball off to Jensen. And he tries to come wide and cut in. He moves up to the 35. Is hit hard in there by Richie Anderson in at right guard and Gene Miller in at right halfback for Northwestern. Waiting that ball. He has it. And he pitches out now to Jensen. Fading for a pass. He's being rushed. He's caught. And he can't get it away. He's dropped on the 20-yard line by George Sunheim. With a pitch out from Soleri. He hands it to Jensen. And there is a handoff to Swanner going the other way in the reverse. He's down to the 25 to the 30. To the 35. Still going to the 40 to the next field on the far side of the field on a beautifully executed play on the Northwestern 49. First and 10 for California, and as they move this time, we find Bob Soleri fading for a pass. He is almost caught at the 40, and he is, and he can't get it away. Back in their own 41, Soleri with that ball hands it off to Jackie Jensen, 
cracking through the middle. He dove as he took off his feet trying to go for yardage. And they've got Staten Webster lined up as a wing back out to the left off T formation. And there is Solari faking and trying to throw a pass. And he's going to heave a long one. And it is completed to Van Barron on the 35 of Northwestern. And he's immediately swarmed on by five Wildcats. The right halfback is split out wide to the right. The ball is kept by Solari as he fakes. He's going to throw a pass, a jump pass into the end zone intended for. It is knocked down on the threes. It was intended for Sarver in the end zone. You've got Charlie Sarver split out wide to the right, the right halfback. And the ball taken by Solari. He's handed off to Jensen. Cracks off right tackle. Goes down to the 30. And they're all set with the right halfback split out wide to the right. It's Solari. The ball fades for a pass. He's being rushed and he's hit back by the 40. Oh, he couldn't get it away. Smashing in there was Steve Zoll. But here is Solari fading for a pass. He throws one out into the flat and is completed to Van Darren at the 40. He's down to the 35, to the 30, down to the 29. On the offense, Northwestern leading Cal 13 to 7. And there's Burson handing the ball off to Tom Worthington, the right halfback, slanting to his left stop for no gain. And Northwestern set to move. Don Burson has the ball, and he hands it off to Art Murakowski, jumping over the middle of the line and starting to drive. He moves past the 30 to California using a 6-2-2-1. And now here is Burson handing the ball off to Paracone, who tried to crack off the right side of his own line. He moved the ball to the 35, kicking from his own 25-yard line. The snap from center, he gets his kick away. A beautiful high spiral coming down the near sideline. And it bounces on the 20, takes a reverse twist, and goes out of bounds on the California 23-yard line. Gee, that was a beauty. And we'll follow the action now, as the ball is kept by Erickson on a bootleg, and he runs to his left, tries to cut back his dump. All right, there is Erickson, and he sends is uh, halfback Sarver in motion out to the right. The ball is handed off, however, to Jackie Swanner, the right halfback, cutting through the middle. He goes for about a yard on the play. And Erickson with that ball, hands it off to Jackie Jensen, running wide to his right. He's down to the 30, to the 35, driving hard, and is knocked out of bounds over the far side of the field, just short of the 40. Minute to go. They trail off Western, 13 to 7. And there's Solari fading for a pass, but he's hit back on the 28. Coming in there from Northwestern like a bullet was Don Stone Cypher. And there goes Sarver, the left halfback, in motion off to the right. As Bob Solari takes that ball, fakes it to Jensen, fades for a pass, and now he starts to run. He's being chased, throws a short pass to the 22, which is dropped by Jack Smire, who had it in his hands on the 22. So the officials had a bit of discussion, so we're going to stay right where we are. And the ball comes back in a direct, direct snap from center to Jensen. He fakes for pass. He throws a long one downfield and intended for Charlie Sarver. But it is intercepted on the 22 by Tom Worthing. He comes back to the 30. The 35, he's hit close to the 40. But his knee touched the ground on the 38-yard line of Northwestern. Jackie Jensen on a direct snap from center. Threw a long pass downfield intended for left halfback Charlie Sarver. Northwestern ready to move from its own 33-yard line. California on defense. And there's a ball by Burson handed off to the left halfback in there. Frank Ashenbrenner driving through the middle. He doesn't get very far. Burson underneath the center. He has that ball. He pitches out now to Art Murakowski. Murakowski going wide to his left. Cuts back, is stopped at the 40. And there's the gun ending the first half as Murakowski had gone back into the game with the score at halftime. Northwestern 13, California 7. <laughs> a great year at Northwestern. The football team went to the Rose Bowl. Homecoming was an outstanding success. The Warm U Show was another smash hit, and the University Theater did some of its best. A wonderful year. A year in which school spirit reached an all-time high, and grades reached the hearts of us all. The year started off in the characteristic confusion of Rush Week as over 700 handshaking students invaded the North and South Quads. But the rush gave way to a hush as Northwestern crowded close to its radios for the opening game of the football season. The Wildcats had been called the dark horse of the Big Nine, and as they galloped off to a 19 to nothing victory over UCLA, we all had visions of our dark horse carrying away a good share of the prize money. Even the beginning of classes didn't dampen the sturdy little spark of spirit that had been set off by our football team. The next weekend brought Purdue to Dyke Stadium. Mighty daunted Purdue that so nearly toppled Notre Dame the week before. Here was the test. Did we have a team or didn't we? And hundreds of students, after standing in line for a couple of hours, clinging to their hard-won seats for a couple more, and watching the Wildcats trim the Boilermakers 21 to nothing, decided that, yes, we did have a team. Baker and France at the guard's helmet center. 
Borgie runs forward, gets his kick off. It's short, going down to the 30, taken in there by Chuck Hagman. Back to the 35, driving hard up to the 38, 39-yard line, where he's hit and brought down as Hank Borgie from Niles, California, got off a short kick going down to about the Northwestern 30 where Chuck Hagman from Erie, Pennsylvania, junior right end caught it. And now the right halfback, Tonicliffe, goes in motion. The ball is handed off to Ashenbrenner, twisting hard through the middle, up to the line of scrimmage, drives for two or three yards. And he's finally brought down on the Northwestern 43-yard line by John Baker, the left guard, and Bob Heilman. Now Burson hands the ball off this time to Ed Tonicliffe who tries to cut back over his own left guard, goes to the 45-yard line, is hit and dropped hard by Bob Heilman with a burst into the ball, faking a pass, handing it off to Murakowski, going into the middle and going nowhere fast as he ran into a stone wall right in the middle of that line and was driven back about five yards by Hank Borgie, the right tackle, and George Souza's in there. Murakowski didn't like it, and he perhaps said something in there to uh, Hank Borgie, and Borgie has said something back. Ashenbrenner kicking from his own 35-yard line. The snap from center, he gets his kick away, gets a beauty off with Paul Keckley going over to receive it, fumbles it on his 15, picks it up. He's running, and he doesn't go far. He's dropped on the 17. Asher Brenner has punted sensationally today. Paul Keckley, a senior from Pomona, California, and there is Erickson with the ball, and he hands it off to Swatter, going to his left. He cuts off left tackle, moves up to about the 20, where Pee Wee Day, moving up from his defensive position, makes the tackle. You've got Billy Main out there as a flanker to the right. The ball is handed off to Jensen, and he hurt. He twists an ankle and drops to the ground on the 15. He was not hit. It was Jackie Jensen who was handed that ball. He started to go wide to his right, and he suddenly, evidently, we have to assume, twisted an ankle because he suddenly pulled up lane. It is third down coming up, 12 to go for California on their own 15. And now the ball is kept by Erickson. He's throwing a pass, and it is beautifully caught on the 30-yard line by Johnny Cunningham as he dove for that ball, which was thrown short. John Cunningham of Childress, Texas, a junior, took the pass from Dick Erickson, winning that ball. He has it, and he hands it off now to Billy Main, trying to knife through the middle, but he can't get anywhere because Joe Zorovlev and Steve Saul, along with Ray Vitekka, back up, move in on him and stop him. Dick Erickson with that ball, hands it off now to Frank Brunk, running laterally. He cuts into the 30, up to the 35, to the 37 before he's down. Boy, how he was driving. Rising to the occasion with Jackie Jensen, Cal's big ground gainer, and driving back out of there through an injury, and about three to go for the first down. And Erickson this time hands it off to Swan with the halfback slanting to his left, but he can't get yardage as he tries to go for the first down. He's stopped by Art Murakowski and Chuck Hagman, the right end. However, California's going to gamble, and they're going for that first down as they drive into the line and pick it up. We've got Bob Soleri directing the California attack now at quarterback, a guy who likes to gamble. He has the ball, and he hands it off now to his left back. It's Billy Main running Laddery to his right. He can't make progress upfield as he runs Laddery all the way over to the near sideline. Is rushed by Tommy Worthington as a flanker. And on a quick moving T formation play, the ball is handed off to Billy Main running wide to his left. Cuts back in between the end of the tackle. Moves down short of the midfield stripe. Whereas Steve Saul and George Sondheim collaborate on the defensive play for Northwestern. He has the ball and he hands it off now to Swanner, who's grabbed around the shoulders immediately by Ray Wateka. What a backer up he is. And there was Swanner still driving, kept driving, carrying Wateka with him. And Art Murakowski had to come on in to finally bring him to earth. Spreading 13 to 7. They are. They're going to try for that first down. And let's see whether they make it. Bob Solari, the ball, hands it off to Swanner, who drives to try for that first down. He's piled up the line of scrimmage at midfield. The middle of that. Northwestern line of the backer ups moving in to try and stop him. And there's a big pile up, and we'll see whether or not the California gamble proved to be successful. It failed. Jimmy Kane says, No, they just missed it. Uh, Don Burson in that quarterback. Fades for a pass. He's being rushed. And then he starts to run, but then he's up and fumbled. And there's a pile up on the 43 yard line of Northwestern. And let's see what happens. Burson attempting to pass, leaped into the air, couldn't get it away, was hit hard in there by Rod Franz, the right guard, and he signals. California's ball. And you've got Paul Keckley out wide to the right. The ball is handed off, however, in there to Will Lauder. He's driving hard past the 40, the 40, to the 35, down to the 30-yard line on a beautiful drive by Frank Bruck. Tommy Worthington finally got him with Pee Wee Day. Frank Bruck, as Dick Erickson is now in there at quarterback. He has the ball, and he hands it off to his 
Left halfback, driving hard, Paul Keckley down the near sideline to the 25 and knocked out of bounds by Tom Worthington once again. Worthington playing a whale of a game. Cal ready to move. The ball is handed off to Staten Webster, who drives straight across the line of scrimmage over right guard and moves past the line of scrimmage down to the Northwestern 23 on a bit of a power search. And there is Erickson with the ball, and he hands it off to Frank Brunk, a fullback driving hard down to the 20, down to the 18-yard line before he's finally stopped by Art Murakowski. Boy, that Brunk can go, and we'll watch them now. Sarver, Brunk, and Webster in the backfield. Erickson directing the attack. And he hands the ball off to the fullback. Brunk driving into the middle. He doesn't get anywhere. Don Stonesy for the left end was in there to meet the play and Lawrence Day, the right guard. And now we'll watch Erickson with that ball. He's fading for a pass. He throws. It's intended for incomplete for Charlie Sarver on the five yard line. Art Murakowski is over there to defend. And you've got a flanker out here to the right. That's Charlie Sarver. Now Erickson, the ball hands it off to the left hand back, driving hard in there to the 15, down to the 10, almost to the eight yard line. It was Frank Brock, the fullback, who drove and drove hard down to the six yard line. And there is Erickson with that ball. And he hands it off to Brock, but he stopped back behind the line of scrimmage on the seven yard line. Hit him there hard. Second down, seven to go for a TD for California. Erickson with that ball. And he hands it off to Swanner, driving off right guard. He gets down to about the five yard line. The middle of that Northwestern forward wall piles him up. Erickson with the ball, hands it off to Sarver, and he's hit at the five and drives forward to about the four. George Sunheim hit him around the middle and dropped him. And Jimmy Kane allows the forward progress down to the Northwestern four yard line. And Erickson with that ball, hands it to Swanner. Swanner drives and he's over! the snap, the place, the kick. It is good. And now there is Borgie running forward. Here's his kickoff for Cal. A beauty, end over end, going deep down to the five yard line. Taken by Ed Tunnicliffe up to the 10, sliding over to the far side of the field. He's caught as he gets to the 15 and is knocked out of bounds on the 17 yard line. Rod Franz of San Francisco. And there is Northwestern Spirikowski stopped at the line of scrimmage as he tried on a power search to move through the California forward ball with Bob Heilman, a backer up, in there to make the tackle. And the ball is handed off to Gasper Perricone in from Murakowski. Cracks through the middle, past the line of scrimmage, the 20 down to about the 21-yard line. And there's Don Burson underneath the center, quickly moving, hands that ball off to Ed Tonnecliffe, and he can't go. He's hit at the line of scrimmage, and Cal's line is playing magnificent ball now as they're inspired by a one-point lead. And now we've got uh, Billy Main in safety for Cal. Ashenbrenner kicking for Northwestern. He gets a nice high kickoff going down to the California 37, taken by Kickley, by Maine. He's driving hard and fumbles, and let's see who recovers. They pile up on the Northwestern 43-yard line. Billy Maine moved that ball upfield. It was hit hard, and the ball popped out of his hands. There was a fumble on the Northwestern 43. Jimmy Kane hasn't signaled yet. It is Cal Ball. California's ball, first and 10 on the Northwestern 44. And now they're moving, and the ball is handed off to Jackie Swanner. Comes around his own left end, gets down to the 42 yard line of Northwestern, where Art Murakowski piles him up. It is 14 to 13 in flavor, in favor of California. Erickson with the ball, hands it off to Billy Main, tracking through the middle and going for yardage down to the 35. On a quick opening, T formation burst through there, and Jimmy Kane puts it down on the 34-yard line of Northwestern. And the ball is handed off in there, and a thrust through the middle by Jackie Swanner, trying for that first down. There's a pileup on about the 34-yard line. Sarkeesian, Saul, and Wateko in there to make the defensive play for Northwestern. And he hands the ball off to Jackie Swanner, cracking off his own right guard, goes down to about the 32-yard line, where Alex Sarkeesian, backing up, moves in to meet the play with the help of his mates. 
All right, they've got Billy Main, the left halfback, lined up in the flanker wide to the right. Dick Erickson up underneath the center with the ball. And he hands it off now to Frank Bunk, the fullback running. Lavery wide to his right, cuts back. A Northwestern man misses him. He drives up to the 30. And finally there, Burton Kenny, the right end, in place of uh, Hagman, finally hit him and brought him down. Oh, split wide to the left this time for Cal. Dick Erickson with the ball. Fades for a pass, throws. He's got a man in the clear on the 19. He's got it, and he fumbles. And it's recovered on the 12 by California. George Souza caught the pass, thrown to him. And it's Cal's ball. And there's Erickson handing the ball off to Jackie Swanner. He doesn't get very far as he comes from his right half back position, cutting over the left side of his own line. Stopped by Burton Ketty on the Northwestern 12. And we'll watch Erickson with that ball. And he hands it off to Maine. Maine doesn't go anywhere, down to about the 11. As Richie Anderson, the right guard, is in there, knifing through to hit him hard. Met him head on and dropped him just about the line of scrimmage. Erickson with the ball. Bates for a pass. He's throwing out into the flat to Maine. He has it on the 10. He's down to the 8, driving hard down to about the 7-yard line. Boy, he refused to be brought down to the ground. A pass from Erickson to Billy Maine, who lined up in the flanker to the right, as we told you. It's Erickson with the ball. He's fading for a pass, throws, and it's incomplete in the end zone. Incomplete intended for John Cunningham. And here's Burson handing that ball off to Ashton Benner. On a beautiful cutback, he goes to his right, moves up to the 10 with the 11, where he's brought down by Herb Potting, the right guard from Daly City, California. Second and seven for Northwestern. Don Burson directing the attack, and he hands the ball off now to Ed Tundercliffe, who is running laterally to his left, is dumped on the 11-yard line by Billy Montagna, who moved up from his defensive right halfback spot as a man from Cal, George Souza, made a dive for him and couldn't get him. And the ball kept by Burson. He throws a pass and knocked down on the three and almost intercepted by John Najeri in the left tackle as he rushed the passer, stuck his big hand up and batted that ball into the air and dove for it and almost had it in his hands on the Northwestern three, but the ball fell to the ground incomplete. A snap from center. He's being rushed. He gets his kick away. A beauty going out to the 47-yard line of Northwestern, taken by Billy Main, getting blocking. He can't get too far. He moves up to the 42, where Chuck Hagman is in there, and Don Stonesy for the two ends, beautifully down under the kick to drop him, and it's California's ball, first and 10 on the Northwestern 42. He hands the ball off to his left halfback, Billy Main, cracking off left guard, goes past the 40 to the Northwestern 39, where Ray Wateka, backer up from East Chicago, Indiana, makes the tackle, and Richie Anderson, the right guard, helps him out. Ball on the 39. Minahan with the ball, hands it off this time to Jack Swan with the right halfback coming around to his left, cuts back in between the end of the tackle, goes down the 38-yard line. And dropping him there for Northwestern was Ray Wateka and Richie Anderson. And there's a pitch out and a handoff from Brunk to Maine coming off his right uh, wing back spot. He is caught for a loss and dropped on about the 40-yard line by Chuck Hagman and Ray Wateka. That was a complicated sort of a play with the ball being handed off towards fourth down coming up and in punt formation. A bad pass from center. The kick is gotten away by Brunk and it is going down to the two-yard line taken by Ashton but up to the five. He's being chased. He's up to the 10. He step arms one man, gets up to the 12 and is run out of bounds by Bob Solari. We'll watch them now. You've got uh, Don Burson in there at quarterback. He hands the ball off to Ed Tunnicliffe, the right halfback, who's dumped in over and fumbles, and who recovers? It looks as if Cal George Souza recovered on the 13-yard line. Jimmy Keene does not, did not signal yet. Maybe the whistle blew ahead. We'll watch him. We'll watch him. It's Northwestern's ball still. The whistle before the fumble. Person handing the ball over this time to Ashton Brenner throwing a pass and it's completed on the 25 to Don Stonecipher and he moves forward to the 30 yard line. Hit and stopped by Billy Main on a handoff from Burson to Frank Ashton Brenner. Here is Don Burson pitching out now to Gaspar Paracone running wide to his left. He's up to the 30 to the 35 to the 40 and is driven out of bounds on the Northwestern 44 yard line on a brilliant run with Frank Van Deren knocking him out of bounds. First and 10 for Northwestern, their own 44. Burton Ketty is in at right end now. And the ball is pitched out this time to Frank Ashenbrenner running wide to his right to the 45, almost up to midfield. And knocked out of bounds just short of the 50-yard line by Tim Minahan. It is second down and six to go for Northwestern. And now the ball is handed off to Tunnicliffe on a quick break through the middle. Gets up to the 50-yard line. A handkerchief on the play. There may have been 12 men on the field. That's exactly what it is. 
And here is the ball pitched out from Burson to Paracone, who's running to his left. He's hit and dropped on the California 48 by Billy Montagna, the defensive right halfback, moving up to meet the play. So Northwestern, with third down coming up and about three yards to go for that first down, finds uh, Burson handing that ball off to Paracone, trying to crank through the middle, trying to go for the first down, but he's short of it. Jimmy Kane marks the spot. And this is a big play for the Wildcats. Can they do it? Don Burson hands it off to Paracone driving over left tackle. And it's going to be awfully close as John Cunningham, the right end, stopped him. The, it's going to be awfully close. And let's see. It's a first down for Northwestern. And with that ball, he hands it off to Ashenbrenner. Fakes the pass. He's running. He is being caught. Then he gets down to the 43 and is driven out of bounds beautifully by Bob Solari. The defensive left halfback who came up and ran Ashenbrenner wide. And now the left halfback, Ashenbrenner, motion to the right. A direct snap from center to Tonicliffe. He's running. He's to the 20, to the 25, to the 20. He's down to the 10, the 5. He's over. He, he's over for the TD. Snap the place to kick, and it is good. And Northwestern leads by a score of 20 to 14, with under two minutes left in the game. Ed Tonnecliffe, a 5 foot 11, 165 pound junior from Kewanee, Illinois, and now George Maddock will kick off for Northwestern. He runs forward. Here's his boot. It's a low line drive type of kick that Jackie Swanner goes over. Bats down, picks up on the 14s, up to the 15, to the 20. Two men from Northwestern mid him, miss him. He's past the 20 to the 22, and Bill Foreman finally brings him down. Lawrence Day, who is a twin of Pee Wee Day, Rob Solari in there at quarterback. And Solari, with that ball, starts to fade for his pass. He's being rushed. He gets his pass away, and it is caught but out of bounds, caught but out of bounds on the 48-yard line of California by Johnny Cunningham. And here is Solari handing the ball off to Jackie Swanner, who's running wide to his left. He's up to the 20, to the 25, to the 30. He's got blockers. He's to the 35, and then he's hit and dropped short of the 40-yard line by Bill Foreman. And the Golden Bear is driving back. And there are 45 seconds left in the game. Sarkeesian is back in, first and 10 on the 38 of California for California. And the ball is held by Solari. He throws a pass, and it is completed on the 45 of Northwestern to Frank Brunk. A beautiful pass thrown by Bob Solari. They've got Charlie Sarver, a flanker, out here to the left. Bob Solari in their corner will probably throw that ball. Now he has it, and he fades for his pass, getting protection. Man down the field. One man almost gets him. Now he's running, and he's upended on the 43-yard line of California on a beautiful play. Let's get him for Northwestern. It was number 71 in there. Bill Foreman, a, a junior from Chicago. About 55 seconds left, and California is on the move. And here is Solari with that ball, fading for a pass. Got great protection. A long run downfield. It's a long, long pass. Intercepted on the nine by Pee Wee Day. He's back up to the 15 to the 20. He's running to the 30, to the 35. He's up to the 40, and is knocked out of bounds on the 43-yard line of Northwestern. And with Northwestern leading 20 to 14, they're just going to try and kill that clock, and we'll watch them. As Don Burson underneath the center on a quarterback sneak goes through the middle for about two yards, just eating up the clock, and the seconds are moving. And there are 25 seconds left in the game. There's Burson underneath the center, a quarterback sneak. He is piled up, and according to the clock, the ball game should be over, and it is, and Northwestern wins it 20 to 14. And the entire Northwestern uh, club goes out onto the field to shake the hands and pat the backs of their teammates on the field. And the California boys, many of them stop to shake hands with the Northwestern boys. It's a great spectacle, great sportsmanship, a great ball game all the way with Northwestern taking the lead at halftime, 13-7, only to see Cal come back and lead 14-13 up to almost the very end. And then a tremendous... Inspirational drive by Northwestern carried them to the top 20 to 14.